To me, playing in the spring league, it means another chance to put a helmet on, another chance to, to get a shot, to get looked at. It means everything right now. I was actually on the phone with my agent, and he said, do you want to play in the spring league? I told him, I said, give me 48 hours, let me sleep on it. For me, it was after that 48 hours, I felt like I wanted to do it. I felt like I still had that fire in me. Ballant's really feeling it. He's still got it. I feel like the best is yet to come for him. It's kind of fun watching him. The thing I learned most in playing in the NFL was how strict a routine you have to keep to be successful, to, to game plan for a game, to prepare for a game, just to get a win. That's one of the hardest things to do. Playing behind Tom is pretty neat because you get to see how literally the best player at the position that you're playing prepares, goes about practice, goes about games. And there's a few things I try to steal from him that I like that he did. The thing with Bill is if, as long as you're doing your job, it's hard to get in his bad side. So, you know, you do your job and all 11 guys do their job on play. You should have some success. I love the ball placement from Mallet. He puts it in the perfect spot, though Mallet clearly in control of the offense. Ryan obviously has a lot of experience at various places, a couple different NFL teams. He started games. It's going to be interesting to see him compete so far. He's been the guy that's like, you know, getting back on the bicycle. He's, he's riding full speed right now. The very familiar name, Ryan Mallett, seven years in the league, the former third rounder out of the New England Patriots, 6'7", he's 253. He's excited. He said, you know what, I've been coaching the last couple years. It's changed my perspective. I want to go out there and play. Being a teacher and coach for the last year, I really enjoyed that. I got an incredible opportunity at a really good school in Arkansas. We're changing the program there, trying to change the culture, and, and we did that. We got to the second round of the playoffs, which has been a while since they've been there. It gives me value, so I really enjoy it. Coach and teacher at Mountain Home High School, and now back to the professional football ranks. Ryan is one of those guys that everybody's looking for. He's throwing the ball very well. So far, I've been optimistically excited about watching him compete out there. Mallet backpedaling, using that arm strength down the sideline and into the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> that was the best throw we have seen in the spring league yet. That's big time. Dealing with adversity, you just got to keep having faith and doing what you're doing the right way and, and keep going. Do whatever it takes. You might have a bad game, but you, you need to perform or you help get your team over the hump somehow. You know you're out there for 60 minutes and you do whatever you can to, to get a win.